The first football Sunday of the 2020 NFL season has come and gone. We're going to break down Cam Newton and Tom Brady's performances. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Evan Lazar. We did a lot of Cam talk after the Patriots went over the Dolphins, but we didn't talk about Tom Brady's first outing as a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. The Bucs lost to the New Orleans Saints, obviously not a bad loss considering Drew Brees and the Saints are above the top of that conference, but who had the better opening day, Cam Newton or Tom Brady? Tom Brady, two picks, Cam Newton, two touchdowns. What do you think? Well, it was clearly Cam Newton who had the better day. But, you know, like you said, Sierra, a lot of people early on, pre before the season, picking New Orleans to win the Super Bowl. So that's a really, that's a juggernaut of a team, I would say, in New Orleans. But besides the fact, I think what you're seeing with these two quarterbacks is that one coach in Bruce Arians is trying to force Tom Brady into a new system after 20 years in New England in one system. Now he's trying to force him to learn the Arian system. And right after the game, Bruce Arians throwing Brady under the bus on both of his interceptions, saying that he read the coverage wrong and made poor throws in both instances that weren't the receiver's faults. So right then and there, you hear that. And first of all, I, I was just really surprised to hear Arians publicly put Brady on blast like that. But more so, it's the fact that Arians is kind of being a little bit stubborn here, I think, with Tom and forcing him to run his system and run his playbook when Brady's been so successful in a totally different offense in New England. And then with Cam, you see the adaptations that the Patriots coaching staff has had for him. You know, the running game, the read option plays, 15 carries, obviously 11 of those coming on an option style, often seven design quarterback runs as well. So you look at all of that and you say, okay, one coaching staff is doing what they need to do to adapt their offense to their new quarterback, while the other is trying to maybe fit a round hole in a square peg. So I think that you're going to see some back and forth now from the Tampa Bay Bucks, similarly to what we saw with Peyton Manning in Denver in 2012 of we need to do more things that Tom is comfortable with doing and not just have it be all the Arians left, which playbook. Well, one thing Tom Brady is not lacking in Tampa Bay is offensive weapons. Yeah. That's a concern in new England, but so long-term Cam Newton had a great week one. Tom Brady had some struggles, but long-term, do you think Tom Brady, we, we know he's too good to let one loss really affect him uh, for an entire season. Do you still think Brady and the Bucks' offense has a higher ceiling this season? I think it has the potential to, but I think there's little sort of things in week one that show you that it's going to take some time for Brady to really get that offense rolling. And I think that certain instances, too, you see him maybe already a little bit frustrated with guys like Mike Evans and, and some of his other receivers there in Tampa Bay. So it was one game. You don't want to overreact to it. I still think that Brady is going to end up figuring this thing out. But with Cam, I think the biggest question and sort of the topic of the day today will be, can he realistically carry the ball 15 times every single Single week. Now, it's not going to be that every single week, but this week it was because Miami really didn't think that he was going to keep it as often as he did on all those option plays, like Belichick said this morning. Miami's defense sort of dictated the terms to the Patriots, and they kept on taking the running back and taking the running back on those option plays, and Cam took what the defense gave him, and eventually it's going to go the other way, right, where the defense is going to start to smother Cam and force him to hand the ball off. So I think that, again, what you're seeing is, is that the Patriots have gone all in with we need to change this offense to fit Cam Newton and the Bucks are kind of making Brady learn their system and fit to their style of offense and I think that there is going to be a time where Tampa Bay is going to realize that they're going to have to go back to sort of the Patriot style of offense in order for Brady to be successful. Kind of feels like Brady's becoming a grumpy old man at the ripe age of 43. Some uh, pictures circulating social media yesterday of him on the bench. He just didn't look too happy with the week one performance, but plenty of time to turn it around for the Bucks and keep things going for the Patriots. For all of our coverage, you can find it on our website at clnsmedia.com and on our YouTube channel at Patriots Press Pass.